Hi friends, my name is Gopi Krishna. In my last video, I told you how to transformer work. What is the principal principle of transformer? What is step up transformer? And what is step down transformer? Where step up transformer is used? Where step down transformer is used? Okay. In this video, I will teach you. How the flux in a transformer remains constant throughout the operation from no load to the full load. To teach this, I am starting from no load, then I further proceed to the full load. And how let's see how flux remains constant in the transformer. Here I am taking one transformer and applying a volt alternating voltage source V across primary terminals of the transformer on no load. No load means I2 is equal to zero. That means simply secondary terminals are open circuited. When I am applying the alternate voltage V across the primary winding, this alternating voltage causes to flow alternating current I in the primary winding. This primary wind, this prime, the current in the primary winding causes to set up the flux phi. This setups the setup flux phi is distributed throughout the transformer like this here I am showed in the core with the dotted lines this dotted lines denotes the flux phi of the transformer due to the no load current I naught the no load current is denoted by the I naught when secondary terminals are open then the current in the primary is denoted with I naught I naught means no load current okay this is how transformer how flux is generated in the transformer on no load let's see what happens if we connect the load at the secondary terminals Here I am connecting the load at the second <coughs> secondary terminals. So when the secondary terminals are closed, the current I2 is set up in the secondary winding. I am already told you when primary voltage is applied across the when alternating voltage V is applied across the primary terminals, the flux set up by the this primary terminals are no load is this phi this is shown in black with dotted lines now i am connecting the load across the secondary terminals now what happens this load draws the i2 current from the secondary winding this i2 current setups with one magnetic flux magnetomotive force that is phi 2 that means this phi 2 is in this direction and the main flux phi is in this direction these two are opposing to each other that means net flux is phi minus phi 2 so due to the flux phi 2 the net flux is decreasing in the transformer what i am telling is when we connect to the load at the secondary terminals the load drawn the current i2 from the secondary winding that means the current i2 setups is one flux according to Faraday loss of magnetism thus the flux set up by the current I2 is phi 2 this phi 2 is opposite to the main flux phi so both are in opposite directions 
so the netflix of the core is, netflix in the core is decreases nothing but the netflix in the transform is decreases but our aim is the flux in the transformer remains constant throughout the happens how it happens when the net flux decreases that means okay when the net flux of the transformer phi is decreases here we have e1 when phi minus phi 2 happens that means when secondary current i2 setup is flux phi 2 opposite to the direction of main flux at that moment the e1 decreases and v1 comes upper hand that means the primary winding draws the more voltage more current from the external source that means i2 dash in order to cancel the phi 2 flux due to the secondary winding of the transformer the primary winding draws extra, extra current i2 dash this i2 dash this i2 dash setups the flux phi 2 dash Here I am showing the flux due to the no load current I0 is phi and phi2 is the flux due to the secondary current I2 and phi2 dash is the flux due to the phi2 dash is the flux due to the current I2 dash. How it I how it I2 dash is coming? When phi minus phi2 is happening at that moment E1 is less than the voltage so primary winding draws the more current that more current or extra current is called as the i2 dash this i2 dash setups the flux phi2 dash in this direction that means the current the no load current flux phi and uh, the extra current phi2 dash are in the same direction current the secondary current flux phi 2 is opposite to this both that means this is opposite to the phi and phi 2 dash phi 2 and phi 2 dash are equal phi 2 and phi 2 dash are equal that means here the blue line and red line cancel with each other and the flux due to the no load current phi remains constant are you understood i i hope so okay, okay. the mmf set up by the i2 dash in primary winding equal to n1 i2 dash and the MMF set up by the I2 current in the secondary winding is equal to the N2 I2. I am taking this N1 into this side, this coming divided. N2 by N1 is equal to, we have transformation ratio K is equal to N2 by N, N2 by N1 is equal to E2 by E1. N2 by N1 is replaced with the K, then I2 dash is equal to K I2. This is the relation I have. That means, how the current the extra current drawn by the primary winding is equal to the k i2 the flux set up by the, this i2 dash is equal to the phi 2 so here blue line and red line are cancelled with each other and the black line flux phi due to the initial current that is load no load current is remains constant this is how the flux 
remains constant throughout the transformer thank you for watching to listen more about the, to know more about the transformer please subscribe me thank you for watching